Warning, this video may contain vulgar language and adult content. If you are easily offended or susceptible to events pertaining to death, gore, family troubles, or other potential threats, then know that viewer discretion is advised. Please be safe when viewing and stop the video if you need to. Safety is far more important to us than entertainment. So please enjoy your time here with us as we explore this fantasy world. So what are you going to do about the rest of us then? Like, I'm a sea hag, but a night hag. Alright, I'm going to do a link stab. To not cause trouble. This is trouble. He I'm about to get bitch slapped by a half one. Grabs him, pulls out Moon Shadow, and holds it to his neck. Let's get a busy signal. So you begin, you begin communicating. <laughs> the ground is eating a troll. I don't like this ground. Oh yeah, I just completely forgot it. Just... So what do I need to roll? You can see Rex literally eating his dice. Yeah! Use that frying pan as a drying pan. Make me a stab! You use your action to cast fly. Fuck! It's just a time. I, I can't. Convey a message of what the fuck are you saying? Be quiet. I'm gonna tackle that troll and maul it to death. Hopefully. Oops. I'll observe. Got disadvantage on it. Yeah, that's a two. You stab the one you were talking to. You hear, yes! Um, those that are looking back, all you hear is, no! You look at Ryder. Nothing. You look at everyone else, turn back, he has a shovel. <laughs> Great God's War Call. Gopher. Rex was here. Jack and Ash River. Ryder right Hopkins. Asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> so defeated. And I am your DM. Welcome back to Miss no, World we'll Adventures, go, 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 go. where the players make plans <laughs> and horribly execute them. Kind of, kind of went all right. Had some yeah. ideas, and then everyone got into a line. <laughs> <laughs> the mistakes were made, and lightnings was thrown. Was thrown. And unicorns. Lightnings. lightnings were thrown. And unicorns. But, before we get into that, if you're interested in other tabletop RPGs, you should check out RPG League at the landing page, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. They have tons of reviews about other tabletop RPGs, not just Dungeons & Dragons or Pathfinder. They also have fan-nominated tournaments for you to be able to participate in. They have some, of the, some really fun just enjoying the community, more or less. So you should check them out at the landing page at www.rpgleague.com, so that way you can find out if there's anything nearby that's local. <coughs> where we last left off everyone you have successfully defeated Karn, Karn in his mech that he has appeared to have been riding inside or piloting you're not sure which is which <laughs> you could say he's now Ryder Hopkins <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey! oddly before the unicorn disappears it punctures Jacqueline in the chest <laughs> <laughs> Hurting him while healing him at the same time, so nothing major happened, but... <laughs> no, the unicorn had vanished after the combat, and everyone got a brief respite in letting Zacharis let out an amount of anger. When Karn had exited the mech after a lot of combat, he had lightning coursing through his body, his hairs were standing up, and he had light emanating from inside of his throat and his eyes. Stack shock. Yeah. After defeating him, pummeling his face into quite literally... Oblivion. Um, the room fell still, and the coldness of the ground began to warm up. And that's where we last were. You guys can hear the sound of chains rattling behind you, as you can see Felix is attempting to pull on the chains, and they are not budging. He is hey, putting full weight. Go, go for it. You'll be a bud and go pull on that for him. <laughs> But what does it do? No idea. We're about to find out. What'd you see over there? It's a chain and a whip. You guys can also see a number of things. Go it everywhere. <laughs> there, it, well, there is. is the room like... also gets brighter. Not because of torch sconces, but because the ceiling starts to drop 
a little bit. Oh shit. There's dirt falling through, and there's just little flecks of light that's emanating from it. Is that outside, guys? It's think? nighttime. Oh. oh, speaking of which, if it's nighttime, there's no light anyways. Um, the room, for some reason, though, is still bright. Is that the moon? <laughs> 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 anyways, okay. Uh, well, we don't have a head well, to take you, back. You can also see that um, on Karn, visibly, he has these dark ebony um, shoes on, and obviously the longsword at his hand. That's still tensed, attached to his well, hand. Well, Asparagus, I let you do what you... Shoes? Dark... Yeah, ebony shoes. They're like uh, kind of like dark leathers. Well, Asparagus, I let you do what you want with his body. Just don't punch it in the face anymore, because there is no face. <laughs> hey, hey, Asparagus, you get you get the shoes, I keep the sword. You can also, you can also see <laughs> yes. that once the combat has kind of calmed, Jacqueline, your armor has lessened. It hasn't tensed up like it was before, trying to brace itself to protect you. It seems to get a lot lighter and a lot more calm. Everyone can see that like, the armor retracts some of its sparky it, skin. It just sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go head towards the mech and start looking around, grabbing some stuff, maybe. All right, well, when you're making over, make an investigation check. If, you're, if anybody's looking at their at Karn's body, make an investigation check as well. Oh, I'm gonna okay. be with uh, writer. Oh shit. Okay, move your character. Seven. Oh, seven. Sure. Are you looking at his body? Yeah, Go for it. I'm gonna take that sword to be honest. Okay. He's <laughs> just gonna. Spirit, <laughs> stop punching. Is <laughs> it investigation? Investigation. That's it. intelligence based. We're dumb. <laughs> Ten. Ten's enough. Nineteen. Open your mouth and do that. Fifteen. Are you looking at the body? Yeah. Okay. Do you mind and you got 10. Open your mind I got 19. 19? <laughs> looking at the mech, Ryder's super excited. Like, <laughs> oh my god, look at this mech and look at all this money. You go up and you're investigating it. The mech is completely different. The metals on it that are fallen are discolored, rusty. They're completely useless. I do. Did it look, look like it, like, the like years passed by or something like that? It looks like it's existed for years mm. yeah i will say this from what i thought why because shit kept falling all of it it was only looked like that because of dometurgy magic or whatever it's called that, that was what i thought it wasn't actually mm. we're fighting a giant mech. we're probably fighting something shittier you may have a contract sure 19 it was feeling real when it was hitting you when you were trying to stab through it it was definitely felt like solid, plated metal, and not rusty. Wow. Never mind. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll start with Karn's body, because there's not much on him. What you find, because apart, you're looking at the sword, that's what's distracting you mainly. What you find is the ebony shoes, and what looks to be like a diary of sorts. It's like a leather, leather bound tome, and it's just sealed slightly it's got like a small little button you flip it open are you looking inside um i i look around to see if anyone notice this is the diary this is deja vu um or if anyone's like specifically looking at like me or the diary or anything Please, I'm lying, though. nobody seems to be paying attention everyone else seems to have gone off to investigate their own things so karis would you roll for investigation as well uh, eight eight yeah nobody seems to be paying attention to you Okay, uh, Did you fascinate with the sword? <laughs> uh, she, she wouldn't. She wouldn't try to make a sleight of hand check here because that's deceitful. Uh, she just takes it, uh, goes over here, kind of sits down, and tries to start reading it. Okay. When you open it, it's an orc. <laughs> it, it, it just says die. <laughs> uh, when you are reading it, it. I'm gonna take a picture of it so I can post it on the thing. Your immediate impression is confusing. You're trying to look at it, and you're not gleaning anything of use from it, as it is a number of random assortments of symbols. I'll look at it later. <laughs> I should look at it. Let me unless, step back. Let me step back for a moment. Unless you hide. Oh, There's two the things. First unless page is ripped, I guess. <laughs> yep, the first page is ripped. On purpose. <laughs> that is first. I get it. Ah, ah. I know what it means. You, you literally use wing dick. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, use what? He used the. Uh, he used the. Uh, it's several pages long. It's probably yeah. like around 12, he used 13 the font pages. Wingdings. 
If you're a person who regularly uses this font, you could read this. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> you could absolutely... Is it These actually are actual it letters. letters. <laughs> hmm? Is it actually supposed to be what it says on there? Wing ding? If you could ring wing ding? Wing ding ding? Because I can. Uh, you can read wing ding? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not there. So, no, right away. No, okay, I can't read it. I'm nope. just kidding. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think you could. There's no way in hell you, of all people, could read Wingdings. You barely can read. <laughs> yeah, because I can read Wingdings. <laughs> uh, Anyways, uh, it's immediately confusing to you. Um, Burns it. Zacharis, looking at the body, the only things that you're immediately noticing are the ebony shoes and the sword that Gopher is looking at. Give me your feet. <laughs> you can take that sword, I'll take the shoes. All right, deal. All right, well, I can't give the card to, to Zacharis. I also can't give you your card anyways. Uh, Pulls on an apple. I can't, uh, I can't tell you what it is yet, because you need to attune to it. Both of you do. The Wait, sword? Yep. Say, say that you need to attune to the sword, oh. and you need to attune to the shoes. Oh. So you don't know what their properties are until you do. Do it, do it, do it. <gasps> It'll take a short I gotta, rest. I got to Okay, I'll take my short rest now. <laughs> <laughs> After the rage. Gotta... <laughs> um, looking at the mech, investigating it, opening up the compartment, it is filled to the brim with just money. It seems to be just assortments Rex. of gold, platinum even. Rex! However, it's very apparent to you. It's going to take a long time to count this. As well as that, you are seeing bits and pieces of the same kind of symbolism that Waterdeep uses for its currency. Mm. So it's special money. Pretty much. Uh, oh. Whatever. You get the impression that it's money that was made for Waterdeep. Like money that Waterdeep owned. It could still be used anywhere because it's still gold. Mm -hmm. But it's money that probably Waterdeep owned. I have an idea. Put it on the bag. <laughs> How much space do you have in the bag? Because you still have that metal armor too. I do. You toss it out and give it to somebody. Yeah, tossing out the armor. Oh, that's a good point. Let's toss it out. See what happens. Toss out the suit. Yeah. The singular metal, the adamantine. Uh, yep. Breastplate, or not breastplate. Um. It was a breastplate. Yeah. Yeah, breastplate. Yeah. Um. Doesn't Does it move? Any, doesn't seem to be budging. Does the cod piece move? You do still have the cod piece too. I know, I know, I do. Shut <laughs> up about that. Not, not that cod piece. You have the other. Oh, right. other the, the one I gave. All right, anyways, okay. Well. I'm going to try to fill as much as I can into the bag. How much space do you have? Well, with that, with the big suit gone, let's see, I guess the heaviest thing I have here, two crossbows, that's it. Oh, and then I have, uh, the I have a navigation tool. All right, you probably can fit all of them. You're just pouring in gold coins and some platinum, and it's easily a well into well, don't the count. thousands. Here's another idea. Then I'm gonna just think about it and say, "Give me gold," and just toss all the gold onto the floor. Does that work that way? Yeah, but will only gold fall out? Yeah. Okay. Is there just? That, I just wanted to separate it in a way you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So are you are you trying to count it? I said don't you count. Said just stuff it. It's yeah. a it's thousands. All right, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Well. Um. After pouring it into, you can see that what's remaining inside of it is what looks to be. A large gold bracelet. It's just like a solid gold bracelet that goes around your I'll arm. put it on. Nothing happens. Um, what you all see is a gold ring that has red gemstones embedded into it. Don't put hey, that Rex. On. Don't put that one. <laughs> I toss him the ring. I'm not gonna put it on. Okay. Are you gonna put it on? No, I'm still holding on to it. Oh, okay. Uh, you also <laughs> see a gold bird cage. Whoa. It's a pretty big thing. It's almost foldable as well, which like fly it flaps out. That's how it was inside of this mech. Uh -huh. um, What's in this mech? <laughs> and the other thing you see is a bronze crown. Bronze though. Hmm. It's just got uh, three points the sides of it, and there's no Nothing gemstones it. in it. It's, it's just a crown. It just looks Yay. like like a crown. Is, huh. is that all I see? Investigating. Yeah. Zero? Other than that, all the metal and ceramic that it was a part of has completely rusted. I guess I put the crown on. Nothing, Nothing happens. Okay. Alright. I feel like a Tomb Raider. Uh, is there any else in the room? Um, apart from oh. the coins that are scattered everywhere, um, doesn't seem to be anything else. I'm gonna go up to the head of the mech. Okay. Look at the, look at the head of the mech. Do I... There's nothing going on. Other things, just rusted metals. Not even the red gemstone eyes? Well, A, you didn't know about them. I mean, that's what I mean. B, they're not there. Okay. Okay, just saying, just saying. Nothing for you. <laughs> Go for disintegrating those. 
<laughs> he bashed it. Yes. So but, I came back to the group and I see. You Jean see Jacqueline um, off to the side looking at a book. You see Gopher trying to focus really hard on this sword. And you can see Zacharis. Are you wearing the shoes? I'm Where? just holding them. Where? Just holding them. Staring oh, at man. Gopher. What did he say? He's just, he's just staring at Gopher, staring yeah. at the shoes. Oh. Zacharis, that's some nice shoes. Thanks, they really bring my whole <laughs> outfit together. <laughs> So, I said, I'm going to that. I'm going to walk forward to Jinx and say, Hey, Jinx, I got a ring for you that Ryder found. Oh, yeah, I'm not good with jewelry, so... Um, you want it? How much would she try to be trying to focus on this thing she can't read? Probably not much. <laughs> um, you can make an intelligence check to see if you can ascertain what it's trying to say. I, I see, yeah, I I, see I, it in the book. <laughs> uh, not from this angle. Oh well, the, 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 the I back. walked over him to her. Her, her, her. Just, just, well, just give him a, just give yeah. her a second. Intelligence check. Can you uh, tell me how much? You're not understanding what any of this is, and you have no idea what it's trying to translate into. Guess she doesn't know wing games. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't know wing games. <laughs> I, I hear. I, I do. I hear him like talking about her or anything. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. You can hear like Rex walking up. All right. What's what's, what's going on there? Once I can't. Oh, yeah. You you basically walk up as she's like closing oh, it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so but yeah, you hear them. I talk. still oh, okay. I still see the book. So yeah, you can see that she's holding what looks to be like a leather bound book. I come over, guys. We're rich. Whoa. I'll you take the. Do you know how much? You tell you. me how much I have exactly, or that matter? Yeah, I can tell you. You gained <laughs> six thousand three hundred and fifty gold. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> six thousand and what? Six thousand three hundred and fifty. <laughs> okay, gold. And it looked to be about 5,000 of those had the uh, symbol of Waterdeep on them. Oh. Five, so I have 1,350 gold. Normal gold. gold. Ones that are uh, universal. Okay. And there's 245 platinum. 245? Just regular platinum? Platinum, which is 10 gold apiece. Okay. Nice. Gold, water. Deep. So he has 8,000 some whatever gold. So 245 platinum, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. You said? 245 platinum, yeah. Okay. Felix at this point has also walked over, having no luck. He seems to be holding the whip. A whip. And in the light now, you can see the whip has this, um, it has like the grip, the handle. It looks to be like a dragon's maw that's opening up at the front. So what the length of the whip is, is looking like more like a tongue. And the length of the whip seems to have like draconic scales going down it that seem to be fluently moving, and they, these scales look sharp enough to be equivalent to glass. Hey, uh, Felix, can I see that whip? I mean, I'm not going to be able to use it, but sure. So does it hurt me if I grab it? No. I try cracking it. <laughs> uh, you feel like you're going to need to attune to it, but it cracks like normal. Huh. Okay. Anyone else want this? Uh... Can I sounds like see it? her kind of weapon? <laughs> right? It's a whip. It's so kinky. It's perfect. Yeah. Um, Wait, you're a girl right now. <laughs> Shit. That's my third attune. How many, how many if I did, you have, you have moon shadow. The, the armor. Yeah, that'd be so, my third thing. That's it. I mean, yeah, you could have tuned to the whip. Mm. Does that work as a oh, your second weapon? It's technically a, a light weapon, so you could dual wield it as well. Yeah, let's, you know. Is it a finesse weapon? Yep. Okay. Well, can I see it? <laughs> you need to use the taunt, <laughs> sir. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how about both of them? I invest hmm? I already investigated this one. <sighs> um, you can tell that the sword <laughs> looks yeah. like it has... Um, yeah, let me get the card out so I can actually read it. Because oh. I have the description on the blade. Ooh. That's not the book. That's not the page. Okay, I have a dagger too. Do I have to get rid of that, or can I like just hold on to that? Or... You can keep the dagger. All right, cool. Um, it looks like the blade itself, after the energy has kind of calmed down from it, and because it was lighting up as well from the effect, yeah. okay. you can see that it looks to be like a shard of slight glass. Like it's pure. It it looks like glass, but you're putting your finger up to it, and it's sharp. And durable. Okay. You're trying to like bend it. Nothing's happening to it. Mm. Inside of it, it looks to be like almost a small blue lightning bolt is Whoa, inside buddy. of the glass. 
Whoa! It's a pure white blade that has a streak of blue lightning still slightly sparkling and moving from inside the blade's edge. Whoa! The white blade that's held by a blue and gold inlaid hilt, and as you're holding it, you can feel like crackling vibration. energy. Okay. And like the destructive force of a bolt of lightning inside of it. Oh god! You could be like Thor, but with the sword. Like, is, yeah. it, is it a long sword or a great it's sword? A long sword. It's a long sword. Okay. Yeah. Still, also only strike based. Yeah. 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 But that's what um, I'm. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, I think I will attune to this. It gives her another weapon. Okay, I mean it's gonna take an hour for people to attune to what they want. We should take a short rest. Oh, anyway. actually, we're, for now I'll here. put it in my bag because she okay. wants to ask some people. Actually, some stuff. Go for it. Let's go. Mess with that chain thing over there. Oh, uh, all right, all right, you're right. Well, not, not yet. Before you leave, Ryder, I need you for something. Who me? Um, Zakaris, I need you and uh, Felix. I uh, well, go for go mess with it then. Felix is on the chain. You might have. No, to Felix came back. Yeah, Felix came back. That's how I got the whip. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go check out the chain then. Yes. <clears throat> I will pull out the book. Okay. I will just open to a page. <laughs> Hold it up to the three of them. Do any of you know what this means? You still have the packet, don't you? Yeah, I do. That's not yeah, interesting. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Am I still there? Yeah. The only one that's walked away at this point is Gopher. Yeah. I have the thing. Okay. Oh, that's winged it! <laughs> <laughs> um, Ryder, you've recognized this as it looks like the symbolism of Thieves' Cant. Oh. Ah, this is shit again, and we've yeah. lost the only person who could really read it. <laughs> uh, well. Do um, you remember our little thief friend who's not here anymore? I'm pretty sure he's the only one who knows how to read that. <laughs> I, I have no knowledge of this. That, so. That's kind of why I had the. Yeah. I, I kind of knew. I don't think Felix. Uh... Well, I mean, that, that's the reason why she called Felix over. Oh, well. Because he's like a research guy and was Randall's best friend. Can I make a touch um, to see if I have some knowledge of this thing? Uh, you can make one, sure, because you're a spy. <clears throat> I'll say you and Felix are the only two that are necessarily going to understand even remotely how to translate it. <laughs> Felix, unfortunately, rolls very low. Uh. What I'm rolling for? It's Intelligence. Are we dumb? Are we dumb? <laughs> we dumb, boy. 14. What? 14. You're looking at it. It just looks like a jarble mess. Game. You're trying to ascertain bits and pieces of it, and you're s just segmented enough to where you're not able to ascertain the words. Felix is looking at it. Um, apart it's... from it being Thieves Can't, I don't know how to translate it. We can find someone, I'm sure. I, yeah, someone, someone. In, there has to be someone in town. As soon as you, say, you can hear this. As soon as you say <laughs> okay. Thieves Can't, I was about to say, who, who do I mind you of the Did someone say Thieves Can't? Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Come over here. Eddie, come check this out. Wait, I, I'm investigating this chain. <laughs> I, I'm going to investigate the chain. Okay, make, uh, make an investigation check on the chain. Nice. Dude, five. <laughs> this is fucking five. Uh, the chain looked to be attached as a chain to the ceiling. Oh, okay. um, it's doing chainy things. Uh, oh, you're pushing on it, and it's rattling some. Yeah, Guys, I doing... think we climbed this. <laughs> <laughs> you can try to climb. Make an athletics check. Tyler, it's doing <laughs> chainy <laughs> things. Go for it. What are you doing? God damn it, go Athletics for it. check is um a 13. All right. So you go to like start to climb it, and as you kind of push onto it, you pull it straight down, and you can hear above you, like a good ten feet above you. Uh, ooh, ooh. Go for it! Getting what? Scary. It's not directly it's above a... you. It's like slightly off to the side, but right. it's above you. All right, I can like discern that it's Wait. up there. We don't hear that, right? No, only Gopher can hear this. Oh, Gopher, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you climbing that chain? So what you guys see oh, is Gopher jump at the chain initially, and it just slides <laughs> down, and at this point he's just now looking up at something. Uh, Keep okay, pulling! I gotta, I gotta get off this. <laughs> I, I I jump off the chain. Okay, yeah, you get off the chain. I hear him and just stop yeah. fiddling around and go to him. So, he's over there by you guys now. Read this. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, read that. Why don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ever read that? Yeah, read that. Uh, hey, here, read that. Okay. All give right. me that one. So, <laughs> give me, give me the other so one. Did you, did you guys know that the first page is ripped? Yeah. <laughs> you kind of Basically, that. you're the only one that's gonna be able to read that, and okay. it's up to you to decide what's useful information in that. Okay. Um, where do you guys want to start? Whatever you think is useful. I mean, for you're us. the only reason, the only only person who can read that. It's up to you. All right. So I'll skim through the pages a little bit, like. Spend like 
five seconds. I mean, yeah, if you guys are going to be sitting we'll take down a short rest, to relax, so. you can read, okay. like, the whole okay. thing. Okay, right. now, now I will start attuning. Too. Okay. But I want to attune, too. You can attune, too. You, attune, you can do that, too. Right. It's that. not hard. You're just, right. you're reading. I'm, right. I'm, I'm going to read my hit points. I'm going to read, okay. guys. Yeah, if anybody wants to use their hit dice, they can to heal. I tabbed. I, I somehow only <clears throat> lost three HP from that whole thing. You just were off to the side. Everything here was melee. And you just didn't get hit by any of the towers. You weren't in the range of the lightning bolt either. I got super fucking lucky. Yeah. Apparently. Well, I mean, it's unfortunate because you are one of the other characters that has the most health. So. Which, no, it isn't because I'm also one of the other healers. Both of them were down and one was useless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At, so. after, a, after a minute, the bubble stopped and he's just like... I'm tired of being useless. <laughs> you still need a unicorn, you're fine. It took your oh, place. Oh, wow, you finally can talk. You accident you accidentally were actually very helpful. <laughs> I think you're the Wait, yeah, he turns invisible, you can't talk, and you did some of unicorn. And it, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so after a short rest, those who attune to their items attune to them. Zakaris, the boots that you are wearing are the boots of speed. I will read them to you because I have the card, but you're the one wearing them. <laughs> While you wear these boots, you can use a bonus action and click the boots' heels together. If you do, the boots double your walking speed, and any creature that makes an attack opportunity against you has disadvantage. If you click your heels together again, you end the effect. Each activation will count towards one minute at the minimum towards its duration. When the boots' property has been used for a total of ten minutes accumulatively, the magic ceases to function until you finish a long rest. Wow, nice. I guess nice. it is a disadvantage. Yep. And if you click them twice in quick succession, specifically, you go to Oz. <laughs> no, you go home. Uh, no place like home. There's no place like home. I don't home. have a card for it because this is what I rolled randomly. Oh, for the whip? Yep. Oh, whip. It is the Dragon Slayer's Whip. Ooh. It is a plus one magic weapon. Uh -huh. And it has a reach of 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Ay. Dang. So you can attack creatures that are within. 10 feet of you, and if they move beyond that range, you can take an opportunity to attack with the whip against them. If it's in your main hand. Okay. Um, alternatively, if it hits a creature that is a dragon, or has the dragon traits, Dragonborn. it does an additional 3d8 damage. Okay. How much does it have normally? Uh, normally is a 1d4. <laughs> oh, okay. Normal damage is 1d4? 1d4. Okay, it's probably... So it's only, it's only used for on dragons, pretty much. And uh, pretty much. <laughs> It's probably going to be in my does offhand it, most of the time. Does it, does it affect Dragonborns? <laughs> you don't know. Uh, no, you would know. Dragonborns aren't necessarily dragons. They are humanoids. They're like a race of half dragon, half human. They're not full dragon. So another 1d8. <laughs> Just 1d8 and no. stuff. <laughs> um, kobolds are dragon. <laughs> you just need the regular whip to kill it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um... Go for it. Let's go back to mm -hmm. the first to greenness and fight that dragon. <laughs> you don't learn the properties of your weapon. No. That's it? Is this a long sword with blue energy? As far as you can tell. <clears throat> um Test it out on that wall. I'm gonna test it out. <laughs> yeah, you swing and you're yeah, swinging. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing at the mech. Alright, you bring it down easily, just cut straight through go portions for. of it. It's easy. Go for um, it's, it's an option. Try soaking your blood on it and Reaching your hand forward towards the mech. Oh, we saw corn do that, huh? Exactly. Did you right, actually saw it, though? Yeah. yeah. It, it knocked me out. I saw it. <laughs> I it was saw loud, it. too. It was a lightning bolt. Yeah. Before you do that, I'm going to investigate the door behind us. The door behind you? It opens easily. So I'll do this facing away from everybody. Okay. I'll, I'll cut myself, run my the blood all the way through the blade. Mm -hmm. And then I'll your do hand. exactly. Yeah. Um, as you run across the blade, unlike where the energy was coursing through his hand and the blade had that coursing energy through it, you're just cutting your hand. <coughs> and it hurts. And you continue off. Ha! And you just throw blood at the wall. Uh, you suffer... <laughs> yeah. Let's see, let's see. So we're six points of slashing damage. And he's down. <laughs> and I'm down. No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, go fight on my work! Guys, I downed myself. Uh, no. It, it's um, a deep cut. It's, it's p pretty painful. You got, you How about twice swinging the sword now? Guys, I think I got AIDS. Fucking <laughs> Karn's blood was on this shit. I got you, guys! <laughs> that would be, a pretty, uh, good, pretty good sword. That'd be <laughs> kind of funny, though, if he just, like, 
<laughs> so over. All right, so we're just gonna put this sword away for a bit. Um, guys, I read through that, uh, you know, Karn's journal. Oh, uh, what's it say? Um, I only read a short por- portion of it, uh, the first half. It's kind of about the stuff he went through, going, went through like his daily life bef- um, after getting here. Um, Anything about Asparagus exactly? Um, I did not see anything. You can tell based off of how the order of the pages are. Yeah. Some of them are torn and completely destroyed, so it skips leaps of time. Yeah. But um, the ones at the end tend to be the ones that are of more recent days. Is it a, it's a book, right? It's it's like a leather-bound book, yeah. It's like a diary. Yeah. Oh. It's a, okay. Yeah. Crazy idea. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm the not first one. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, we'll see if it works. Okay, oh. I read the first one. I do have that empty book. Okay. <clears throat> can I somehow, like, put it with the book and mend it and recover the You get a page? bunch of... Blank pages. Yeah, you, okay. you, mending specifically doesn't fix the ink; it only repairs the pages. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. It's, it specifies something like that. I'm pretty sure. I specify you, mom, next. <laughs> um. So he and that's everything it. attuned. Yep. Everyone other attuned. than his thing. I mean, it is attuned, but we don't know what it does. Yeah. Um. We should get out. Pitch in. So, what was the goal coming out of the mech? I was distracted by the chain. I guess the mech was pretty much unusable after we beat it up enough. Oh, actually, I take out this golden birdcage. Asparagus, is this familiar to you at all? Does it have any symbolism, symbolism to me? Not that you can tell. Huh. How, How about, about the crown yeah, that he's out, Yeah, that way I take out the, gold, the bronze crown. Uh, no. Here, you're now the prince. Thanks. Uh, how about this golden brace and bracelet? It's just a golden bracelet. <laughs> What's the monetary value? I'm guessing nothing. How about that ring? Just, just money. It looks like money. You can make a... I'll let you make an arcana check to see if there's any kind of arcane symbolism or anything on them. Okay. Mm. That's a six. Yeah, none of, as far as you can tell, they don't look to be any form of magical. Looks like a normal piece of jewelry to me. Well... Shit. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about the ring. I mean, right. she put it on. Oh, it oh, didn't, she... did not seal to your finger. <laughs> did, did you feel any power coursing through your veins? Here's this bag. No. Okay. <laughs> that's up to you. I mean, unless right. you somehow translate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the rest of it. Just so okay, so I, I vote we should finally get out of here. We rested a bit. Doors open. Well, what about that chain? What did it do? Go for it. Um, I heard some noises come from the top when I. Just trying to climb it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna go to the chain myself and stop pulling. Oh, I know. I'll, nah, nah. I'll go with. Um, you. Yeah, I'll also go with. But I'm gonna do... go to the door and I open. Okay, that's fine. Let him talk. I'm sorry. Do the um, like between the links of the chain? Does it <laughs> like the hole? Does it look like uh, a uh, five foot nail could fit in between? It? So that two people? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna stop pulling. A four. You have advantage because of the five foot now. And so it gives you leverage. Sixteen. All right. Between the two of you, it's easy enough. The only reason why Felix did is because he rolled a fucking two, and his strength, I'm pretty sure, is minus. So. <laughs> okay. So what happens? Easily enough. As you guys are pushing it down, and you move five nail out, put it in, move it down, and do the same thing for a few times. You can hear to the left of you. Something opening them. It looks like something is lowering, and as it gets lower and lower, Felix looks to you, that was the shed that was outside. The shed. I was partially right! (laughs) Yeah, because none of you went to investigate the shed except for Felix. So Felix went out there and searched around, didn't find anything. If he rolled high enough, he would have found the markings and completely would have changed the whole dynamic, but he didn't roll high enough. And... It seems like it's lowering that portion of it. When you look up, you can still see the shed's door is there. And as you're kind of pushing it down far enough, you push it all the way down, it clicks into place, and you start to hear like a small winding, very, very slowly. Uh, guys, we should uh, get inside quick. I open Everyone? the door and I get in. You don't have to open the door because it's, it's oh, open it's to just you. A platform. There's, a, there's doors that are out that lead to outside oh. up in the air. Okay. Hey. 
Hurry up, guys. Alright, all right, we're coming, we're coming. Yeah, Gopher's just staring at the I'm book just, trying just, to translate. Just, Both of, I know you can... Put it in your backpack and read it afterwards. <laughs> this is the first time you can read something useful, I know. I'll put it in my life. This is the first time you can read. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're all in the thing? Does it... On the platform. Yep, as you guys... Do we just wait for it to... After about a minute, it slowly starts to rise, and you can see the change. No one forgot anything, right? Okay, good. I'm all off my gold in there. Mm. So you guys didn't pick up all the random coins that was all over the place. Uh, yeah, I picked up a handful. That's about all I got. Yeah, you got 17 gold out of yeah. it. Yep, I wrote it down. We'll come back. Well, no, we're not. Yeah. I'm just we're joking. not coming back for anything. No, we're not, we're not coming back here. So, <laughs> it's thin night, right? It's night. Yeah. When you guys get up to the shed, there's just, just clicks. Just, <laughs> just an angry mob with pitchforks. <laughs> um, and it's dark in here. There's no torch sconces and there's no windows. So, yeah. I open the door. Then you open the door. Look outside. The house is completely different. It's the like ugly now. Nice sheen of it is old and decrepit. The windows that were painted glass seem to be destroyed. Have very old, crusted dirt on them. You look inside, and the picture frames or anything are completely destroyed. And the nice demeanor of this entire house looks as if it's been abandoned for years. I, sh- I w- oh, I take out the cod piece. It is rusted metal. I guess the whole house was made off of thaumaturgy somehow from... Mm. Uh, is it possible to look inside of one of the windows? When you look inside, you can tell... Uh, which, which window are you looking at based off the house? The one like right in front of the shed? The closest window? Yeah, the closest window is possible. Mm. Looking inside, you can see the statue that was there that has the um, that once had the metal suit, the one that you had fought twice over. is not there. What it is is a completely destroyed statue figurine, almost. It's just toppled over, collapsed, and because someone rubble. used shattered or something on it a while ago. I wonder who did. The metal that's on it isn't there. Hmm. That's some powerful magic. <clears throat> that's all I can say. <laughs> Do I hear anything else inside the hut, in the building? Uh, sure. As you're doing that, feels going to roll more contracts. I know next wood, natural twenty. Um, what would what, you say? Do I hear any noise inside the house? Like, no. There is silence. Felix pitches in. We heard that he was an enchanter, right? Yeah. Yes. This seems like enchanting magic to me. Yeah. Rather than thaumaturgy... He, made he, had, he possibly duplicated the items. He used a source and pushed that energy out to other sources. So there's one, based off of what I understand, there's one original, at least, amongst all of this house. So there's something like that. There. Maybe there's a good window, maybe there's a good good statue something. Is that what do you mean? One original. No, like, like he had, to, he basically copied it and pasted it on something. Like what he said. So he is just that, copy and paste. Is it possible? Is that even possible to do that much magic in one huge house? Like that's that? a lot of magic to hold, guys. And Karn didn't seem to have a whole lot of magic. Yeah. Gopher's, oh, yeah. Tra- Gopher's trying to pitch in something. So yeah, I read, I read his journal, his diary. Um, his house was fully enchanted. <laughs> Like, like, uh, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna... Gopher, I, think... I knew that was in there too. Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking at Gopher and goes, oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least so, well, we can yeah. confirm it. So, that's the. So when I heard that, I was like, all right, so yeah. yeah. Um, that, that's what you're trying to get who... me to get to. Where's the shit again? Hey, well, there's other stuff in there still. Yeah, there's Gopher. a lot. There's a lot in there. Yeah, so talk about anything about someone enchanting it. Give, give me five minutes. <laughs> he I'm goes back kidding. into reading the book. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but just but, um, as assumption, and I know that well, well, assumptions this? haven't been Calvin. Let him talk. <laughs> Sorry. And I know that our assumptions haven't really been okay. spot on so far. Um, I believe it's probably safe to say he was working with a hag of sorts. I mean, he did say, control me like that bitch. 
I mean, there's... After all. There, you can also see, looking out front, the grass, dead. The, the garden that's there is wilted. <laughs> there, there was one good blade of grass! But, uh, <laughs> the only hag we know of is the one we saw at the, at the tribal one. camp. The one that probably created those creatures that we In saw. In the magic circle. Exactly. So... She was probably using them, and she it was probably her magic that made this whole thing. That's what I was supposing, yeah. yes. So it was that bitch again. <laughs> as as Corn, Corn said. Asparagus, would you know anything about the witch now? Uh, nothing more than we know now. Are you guys going inside the house, or are you just staying out where you are? There's no point, I don't think. If it's... I mean... We can come back a different day. And uh, tomorrow, when we're rested, who knows what's in there? It's probably all dead, but not taking that risk. The hag is still being there, and we're not fit to tango with her again. I have a feeling, based off of the, um... <laughs> okay. That was the scene. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. Um, I have a feeling, based off of that one room that we found in the underground, uh, she left in a hurry. Yeah. Knowing that we were there, I don't think we're going to find her in the house. Okay, but then I'll still say it's risky, especially when we're all this tattered. I mean, I'm not. All right, have fun. I'm going to go rest. I can. Are you, you going to go invest inside? Yeah, I'm just going to go I'm gonna go inside to see oh. what else is there. So what's everyone else doing? Well, Jacqueline, are you going in through the front door or are you coming in through a window? Because there is a window that's completely broken in. Be a civilized person. Go through the front, the front door. door. She's okay. a princess after all. When you're heading out towards the front door, and you round the corner, you can see a number of worried uh, citizens of the city. They're looking up at the house, and when you look up, the entire house is fucked. It's destroyed in certain portions of it. The windows are all just broken into or completely fogged up with dust or dirt. The front door is on its hinges, and as you like round the corner, there is barely anything living near this house. And you said there's people? There's people looking at the house that are concerned up by the front, but you're not there to see it. Jacqueline, you go inside? Um, there are a lot of people. I'm not gonna... Inside. Shh, you're not there. there. There are a lot of people who would see me go inside. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna want to come out and look suspicious. You're not there. I'm, I'm saying this to myself. Uh, yeah, but you don't know that they're there. Because you're not around the front of the house. You know, I will destroy you. <laughs> I will destroy you. We'll make a perception. Um, can I... Is there a check that I can make to see how, like... If I would be able to just, like, get in without too many people noticing that I just went into this destroyed house? Uh, if you went around, not the front, because you're also on a perch. Okay. So you'd have to go around into, like, another entrance, like a window, or... Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, just go back around. So basically, you're going back towards where everyone else is sitting, relaxing some. Zacharis, is there anything that you're doing? Uh, I'm, I have like a, a, a million miles stare and I'm holding my... It's called Thousand Yard. <laughs> it's even further than that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, a million mile would be further than a thousand yard stare. You're right. So, what are you doing? You going in through the window then? Yeah. Okay. Going inside, kind of like step on some glass. And in that moment, you're just kind of like... six points of... No, <laughs> you're dead. Um, <laughs> you're looking inside, and it's cold. Like, it's like this place is completely lifeless. Um, where are you going inside this house? Because, I mean, in reality, you know majority of the layout. Yeah, I'm just anywhere. Okay. Um, anywhere and everywhere. Without dis... Like... Very obviously, without trying to make it obvious that someone's in this destroyed house. Okay, then make a stealth check. Okay, well. Because <laughs> I do not want to worry the villagers. Hey, I think we already did. <laughs> I mean, they're worried for another reason. That's 12. 12? Okay. You're st stealthily around. Fine. You get closer to like the front where that there's those um, two statues. Oh, should I points. also make an investigation check? Or... Yeah, make an investigation check. But um, so I'm just looking for... Anything of... Uh, make a perception check, though. Perception? you're making a general glance at everything, that's based on wisdom. Okay. Oh, neat. <laughs> of course, I get a lower value. Uh, 11. 11's enough. 
as you're walking around, you, you use can my tell... passive perception for that. God damn it. <laughs> Looking around, you can tell that the statues that are around are all completely destroyed, toppled over. Their suits are completely gone. You go back towards where that all that art was in that other room. Those seem to be real. There's three beautiful paintings. The lights are real. And the small artwork in the corner as well is, is genuine. Um, going to the next room, going towards those beds that you were a part of before, you look around, all the beds are completely destroyed, the cloth is torn, everything is just bad. Go to the other room, the one with the black door, you go inside. This room also looks fine. It um, doesn't have that vanity there, though. The vanity is just not there, in general. It has the table, it has the single torch, that's se or the single candle that's blown out, and the two chairs that are there. Go over to the room that you didn't explore before. Looks to have been a laundry room. More so the remnants of one. There's a tub of water that is completely molded over the top of it in stale water. Um, the, ba the basin that it's sitting in is rotting, as well as the line that has some dried clothes are completely fallen over and there's water kind of splashing into it. They look like they've been, they've been sitting inside of water for a while. That's all that you see in here. Go out towards the front. You find, like kind of toppled from the stairs, a very small silver raven figurine. You've recognized this as a flying creature before. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to pickaxe. <laughs> Get him! I'll pick it up. Fuck! <laughs> Picking up. Immediately, you can feel like this is magical of some nature. I'll put it in my bag. All right, yeah. Um, Go. Investigating. It opens the door. <laughs> investigating more down here. There's nothing else noteworthy. You do um, open up the garage, and you can see that there are two carts inside. There's one that has that beige carriage that the other one... Um, Karn and the Grand Maven were a part of. And you'll see Mean Mead's cart with several barrels completely empty. Um, you'll see a lot of opened crates that are reek. Reeking of rotting food. Hmm. In the corner you can see what looks to be like a digit and a massive hole in said digit that looks like it was once a wall. It looks completely damaged now. And you can see inside of that there's like a small vase almost like a pot that's just balancing on top of a, a wooden plank basically or a rod so it would seem that if there were anything to make this house look nice it is not here you haven't investigated the upstairs oh d d I, I meant to do I know I, I was just telling you everything oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. investigating upstairs we should go to his there's room there's nothing else I wanna I wanna check something quick too yeah. I take out the deck of card thingies. Deck of many things? Yeah. <laughs> deck of many faces. Yes. It's real. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I mean, I guess if oh, it wasn't... God, I, guess, I, guess, I guess if it wasn't, I wouldn't still be a woman. Oh, I guess it's finally wore off. Because it's been an hour. Well, yeah, it's been an hour. We were actually... God, I did that. <laughs> um, he pulls up the cards. I have a, uh, a realization. <laughs> I need the corn. I need the corn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you ate the corn too. Yeah, we both ate the corn. Uh, do do five uh, um, five points of lay on hands need to be <laughs> no to, to because cure they were not sitting with that pain for long enough. Oh, and the unicorn healed both of them of their oh. pains oh. and diseases. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that means I still don't have chlamydia. <laughs> yeah, neither of you have tetanus <laughs> from uh, rusting yeah. fucking core. True, true. Oh, yeah, good. Yes. <laughs> you both are fine. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> no, no, like, the magically, like, all the, the poor... You guys would have been poisoned. <laughs> I mean, realistically, that would have been fine because I still have all ten. Yeah, but, I mean, it, if it was it, to go for, like, 24 hours, they would have gotten drastically sick for several yeah. days. True, true. Um, going upstairs, nothing else is going on. And, um... Uh, do I see the music box? You go over to where you, um, remember the music box? The music box is not there. It seems to be destroyed. You can tell what was part of the music box is there. Okay. 
but it doesn't have the horn to play out of. It doesn't have the crank in the back. And it doesn't have the place to play the music. What's up? She's taking a while in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been easily a good 15, 20 minutes of walking around inside. I, I want to check out, uh, while she's checking stuff, I want to check outside the gate. Is there anyone, like, staring at her? Uh, while you go out there, you can see there's an amassed crowd yeah. at this point it's of several worried here. people, as well as what looks to be some guards that are keeping them back. And as you kind of round the corner, just make a stealth check quick. Are you trying to stay hidden? Yeah. Yeah, yeah make a stealth check quick. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you turn to a corner just like, what the fuck's going... And in that moment, there's silence. Uh, the crowd that was kind of murmuring is quiet. The guards that were there are looking over their shoulders, looking at you. The crowd looks at you. Yo, Rex. I think back up the I think Ryder fucked Oh, uh, no, no. You get, get back here. What are you doing there? What did you do? We don't know. We woke up here. We? Who else is there? Oh. Me and the oh. <laughs> no. no. oh. um, well, looks to be uh, a captain yes. of sorts. He has less there because there's no rank currently yeah. in the, the. He seems to be more of an elder and seems to have more experience in the guard work. And he goes towards you. Do we hear this? Yeah. Not the shouting. Uh. You would have seen because they, they're like. Because the shed's over there. Yeah. They're like over 100 feet away. Oh, shit. Right. So what you would have seen is Ryder being like, what the fuck's go? <laughs> I'll take and a... he freezes in place uh... and tries to take a few steps back. <laughs> and eventually you can see a guard sprints up to you. Oh, so you can well, see the guard, okay. and the guard can see you. <laughs> Fuck, I was the one with a stealth with the gold run back. Uh, I'll let you, because you're the only one that was like, I'm going to try to do this. Make a stealth check. Make a stealth check. Make a stealth check. Mr. You're reading a book still. Yeah, I'm so. reading a book. So Mr. Like is... seven stealth. I don't know. My roll's being bad right now. Okay, like I roll high, means I'm gonna roll low. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna assume right now. But I gotta double check my stealth right now. As I'm looking in the house, I just look out a passing window, and it's like, Shh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's best if I stay here. Oh. Uh, um no 13 no um so what happens is you go to start to run and right as you do this guard who's an active guard and sees a very suspicious individual who is standing near a house that has completely changed you go to dive out behind the way and he spots you as you go and cross the corner hey get back here Does he... I only know my surroundings right now, so... Yeah, you're surrounded by walls. Unless you try to leap over the side, it's gonna be... Does difficult. he see me in Zacharis? Oh, yeah, you Does guys are just sitting there. Yeah. Okay. Right. How tall is the wall? I'm like, oh, the shit. The wall is 10 feet, so, I mean, it's not necessarily unfeasible, but at this point, you can also hear shuffling from behind you as there's other guards now approaching. There's two other guards. The one that was in front of you has charged past you. You two stay here. Watch over them. I'm not gonna do anything. I, uh, I can't. I'm not gonna make the jump. I sent. I sent a message to Jinx. Can I do that? Or no. Are you trying to be stealthy with your message spell? Because you have the. Oh yeah. Also, you don't know. Where you're she not gonna is. know where she yeah, is. Yeah, I can't remember <laughs> that. Um, uh, I had the book. Okay. The, the journal. Make a sleight of hand. The journal. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, nine. As both the guards look at you, and you're trying to like go. Oh, <laughs> they don't notice you putting away the book. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> in his, le- in his, in his fucking. Um, uh, it's in my loin. Can I yeah, the message to Ryder. <laughs> no, because you also don't know where he's standing. I mean, he's I, had, I had a decent, a decent idea that he was probably still at the. We're still in the. They're not near the shed anymore. He's on the corner. Yeah, true. He's eighty feet from it. Yeah, you're right. fine, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> um, so you're not moving anything, moving anywhere, right, Rex? I don't even know what's behind the wall. <laughs> you're you're on the other side of the house. You don't you also don't know what's on the other side of that wall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, like, oh, I thought you were talking I'm about. I'm right now wondering how quickly I could get out of the house. You also I have no it. idea that this is happening. No, I, I don't. But I do know the crowd is there at least. Yes, because you saw that. Um, but like right now, ah, eh, she wouldn't be wondering that. She's too busy looking at shit. Never mind. Because I, I was like, I, want, I wonder how long it would be. 
I would have to get out of the house if I just like shot a fireball into the air and then to make it distracted. How much? <laughs> what are you doing, Rex? Are you running or staying? Where I'm going to hide that. I think I panicked. Oh, fuck. No. Okay. Uh, ooh, okay. As you... Uh, what are you trying to do? Go for it. I was going to say, I'm going to go run back down that dungeon, dude. <laughs> the, you're, there's no way to get down. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. no way to get yeah, down. Yeah, that's why I was like... You oh, go I'm inside the shed. Yeah. Like, no, <laughs> They're like, he's trapped in there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's lost. <laughs> um, so you stand still, and the guard grabs you from behind and pushes you towards the rest of the group. Shoves you forwards. Now you're all kind of congregated into a center area as the other two guards have brought you towards everyone else. What are you three doing? Or what are you Four. five doing here? Oh, yeah, because Felix. Oh, what, they don't recognize Felix? Not these ones. Oh. We were prisoners, and all of a sudden, things changed in the prison, and we were able to get out, and we found all our belongings. And Where's the prison? The um, shed. Yes. It was, we somehow found a lever, we pulled it, and we were able to get out, and then here we are, and then we heard a commotion, we came out, and I just, you saw what happened. Make a deception check. I'm gonna say with disadvantage, because oh, you already look super suspicious. Yeah, true. Twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no fucking way you're gonna be a twenty-five without a natural twenty. I roll a six. <laughs> Kidding me? No way. Wait, he has a negative. Oh, I mean, oh. well, six to seven. Negative number there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard like, like a five. Like, wait, what? It's okay. Math is hard. Um, <laughs> <Don't mind. laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you can see the other two guards like we're all beat up yeah you guys are fucked up <laughs> especially, especially um, me especially <laughs> Gopher who's got studded leather on and is really hurt uh, you're going to say secures too because he got all that he got healed oh yeah yeah but he's not full health okay yeah uh, true. yeah Jacqueline would have absolutely looked she, she looks fine <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, she, um, she looks fine <laughs> The the one that, that seems to have more experience looks to the rest of you. Well, we're still going to have to bring you into our barracks to make sure that anything that's happened we can get a full story of. Understand? Understand. Yes, sir. All right. Sorry for anything that's happened to you here. But if this is difficult to believe. Karn, or Turniston Froust, didn't, he didn't say Karn. Turniston Froust has been a very fine gentleman to the city. So, just Bullshit. shush. Just understand that if th we need as much evidence as we can find, so we're going to be investigating on our own part, and we're going to be searching you to make sure that we can find anything that is a part of your cause here. Anything that we're going to be able to know puts you in defense. Understand? Understood. All right. Let's all go. I'm going to send some people in later. So, Jacqueline, having no knowledge of this, <laughs> still investigating inside. Um, you're looking at the uh, home or the room. There's a nice bed. The, the bed is nice. Yeah. The mirror is cracked. Or no, that mirror is actually fine. Well, actually, you wouldn't even necessarily know that there's a mirror there. You can see that there's uh, two mirrors seem to be attached to each other and a cube pushed out underneath it. Like compartment. Mm. Is there anything in the compartment? Nope. Okay. Is that the entire house? Uh, yeah, more or less. You look at that everything. Um, <laughs> you look around inside of that room, and you can find rusted pieces of adamantine armor. <laughs> what was what looked to be adamantine is actually just rusted brass. And that's all that you can find. There's also bits and pieces of also destroyed statues on this floor. You go to the bathroom, the bathroom is just the least kind of bathroom that you would want to go to. And apart from that, there's nothing else. Hmm. Let's see if everything here was a lie then. All right, uh, are there any windows? <laughs> uh, not in Karn's room. 
Um, there is one that was in... She finds the nearest window. Well, you're on the second floor, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. When you look outside, um, you can find that your friends aren't there. <laughs> is anyone else? Um, a, a crowd still? There's a crowd that's out front, but apart... There's that... So there's that that room that didn't have any torchlight and had nothing in it. Just the pure dark room. When you go out there, that had the direction towards the shed. When you look out there, you don't see your friends. So you're like, okay. You go out to the front... Um, trying to look out through a window there. Just make another stealth check for that. <clears throat> uh, I already saw the, the crowd out front, right? Yeah, you did. Oh, would, then I wouldn't go... You wouldn't go towards the front? No. Okay. Then, what's your plan? You're just trying to leave? Uh, especially if I didn't see, see everyone else. Yeah. yeah. Just I'm just trying to go away. <laughs> okay. So you find the there's, same there's window that you kind of here. creeped in. Yeah. And you're standing out. So, now what are you doing? You're standing here, you can see everyone's footsteps leaving with another set. I need a, a check to see if, like, her just walking up would... You get the feeling, I mean, they were just a crowd. I'm not sure if they would try to stop you or not. Well, oh, wait, you said I, I heard of set people walking away. Not her, you see footsteps. Oh, I see, oh, I see footprints. You saw, yeah, you see footprints in the dirt walking away. And a number of them, like about eight. Would I be able to follow those without someone noticing? I mean... If I made a... I'd probably have to make a stop check, yeah? They look like be going towards the front of the house. To the front of the house? Yeah, so I mean, if you follow them, you're going to be walking towards the front of the house. Not necessarily going to be able to step past that. Oh, okay. I don't see any footsteps going, like, away from the house or anything? No, not okay. from this point. Um, guess what she'll do... Um, the shed is out of sight of other people, right? The crowd of people? <laughs> she'll try to go behind that. Okay, yeah. And try to... If that's this is possible, try to make it look like she just like showed up into the crowd of people and ask like what the shed. Happened. So to put the, the perspective of the house. Okay, so the shed's like right there or something. The shed is here. Oh, okay. The house starts there, and the front of the house is over there. There's still the wall behind the shed. Oh, okay. So there's. Apart from going over the wall, the only other entrance or exit out of the wall is the front door. And everyone's on the outside of the wall? Everyone's on the outside of that gate, the front gate, where you guys walked in from. Oh, okay. They're not around the building, they're not near the shed, but there's also no exit by the shed. Oh, okay. Hmm. Probably really dumb, but we're gonna try going over the wall if I can. Okay, make an athletics check. Athletics? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. It's it's a feat of height that okay. you need to accomplish. Well, that's not that's probably not happening. Natural twenty. Fourteen. Fourteen. You brought yourself up and you're just not able to get high enough. Just barely. You make a running leap and you push your arms up and just as you do your arm slips and you fall just barely. Okay. Um, and she's just gonna try to go out the front gate. Okay. She's just gonna take the whatever. <laughs> yeah. More or less, you turn the corner. Similar thing of what happened with Ryder, <laughs> except that you're more accepting of it, it seems, and you just walk towards them. They, uh, there's about two other guards there. Um, one is trying to keep back the whole crowd at this point. He's dispersed a number of them. But uh, the two guards approach you. Excuse me, miss, what are you doing here? I got separated from my allies who were trapped in this underneath this house, and I found another way. You were out. with the other five. I was with the other five. All right, you're coming with us. We have to bring you to the barracks to ask you questions. All right. All right. <clears throat> and now everyone's basically being taken to the barracks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th I thought I could be able to get get out of doing that, but oh well. If you had any spells to get over the wall, Is or you point? had to prop. You needed a 15 to prop yourself over the wall. You just oh, barely didn't reach. I rolled a 15. I know, but you have a minus one. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. If, if she yeah, got that's, out of the that's room, 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 room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so everyone is being brought to the Prison barracks. Brain. And 
by the barracks, it's more or less just a larger home in the uh, higher ups district that was turned into a barracks. Hmm. As you approach, there's a number of guards leaving and entering. They have spears at their sides. Um, some of them have short swords and long swords. Just whatever weapons they can find, they seem to be using. They have a number of people who are going out armorless at this point. Some people that have armor, some that don't, some that have uh, mediocre ones. Varying amounts of value in their gear. Seems they're also just using whatever they have possible for the number of guards. Going inside, the given room isn't very large, but there is a singular table and what looks to be a cage, kind of. It's like a gated wall. Um, it's less of a prison cell and more like they've intentionally barred up portion of the room, broke it down, so that way they could actually make a certain passage of sight. So that way they keep line of sight of those that are inside of it and a uh, man-made door that is uh, there. We're going to ask you each individual questions one by one. But for now, put all of your belongings on this table. We're going to search through them. Is anybody trying to hide anything? Um, the only thing I try to hide and keep on me is this thing. The book? Yeah. Uh, okay. So I already had nothing on me besides like all that gold and shit. How oh, the bag of holding. Yeah, and, well, that's all that's in there because it's gold and shit. Well, to them it looks like nothing, but I'm saying. Oh. Are, are you keeping anything on your person? <laughs> <laughs> I guess my armor and weapon. You're also decked out in... Uh, a gold cr- or a bronze crown. No, I took that off. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were still wearing all of them. Um, how long does it take to not attune from something? It takes 24 hours. 24 hours? Yeah, oh, it has okay. to be far away from you and out of your possession for a long time. For the 24 hours. Okay, seeing as Jacqueline has nothing to hide, she just puts everything she can onto the... She can't take off the fucking... <laughs> the chest piece? No, you can take it oh, off. Oh, you can take that off? Yeah, you can slide it off. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it was just like... <laughs> It, it attaches to you so huh. that way because it can vary to each person's size. Oh, okay. It could attach to so Karis, yeah, she... Rex. It could attach to anyone. Yeah, she'll take that off too, I guess. Okay. So she'll just strip. <laughs> you still have your robes under it, <laughs> but remove your armor, set them down. Like I said, is anyone keeping anything on their person to try to hide? Because if not, then you, we're going to assume that you put everything down on top of the table. Yeah. If I'm keeping this I mean, not, not, I mean, I'm going yeah, to keep, take keep, off. He's keeping the one thing that would, uh, that would tell the so comments full shit. I'm gonna tell them that because they can't read it. They'll just think it's garbage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, both of you two make uh, sleight of hand checks. Seven. Oh, damn. So we need it then. Sixteen. So Karis, you're able to subtly keep it away, tucked yes. away. Um, go for as you're trying to like put it in <laughs> your studded leather. It's like clock. you're you're putting it like you strap it to your belt and you didn't realize that as you did you kind of pulled it very far and went uh, the one of the guards what is this and he snatches it out and flips through the hell do you want some help reading that this looks like gibberish and he holds out the thieves can't knowledge n- nonsense to you I smile is this is a doodle book what the hell is this I smile at him and say that's what you think. <laughs> 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 All right, then enlighten me. What is this? Um, it's a code. Code for what? All right, it's it's evidence for what we found. I'll just tell you that. Closes it, puts it onto the thing. He's the only one who knows what it is. We have no idea what it says. I mean, he's explaining like a few things of it, but he's oh oh. You're saying that in character? Yeah. Oh. Well, when we ask him questions, we'll bring it up and have him translate it to us. All of it. <clears throat> so, other than the book that Zakaris was able to successfully hide, everyone puts all their belongings on top, and they escort you guys to the caged room. After a few moments, they sift through everything. As well as that, they move all the bags, they open them, sift their hand in, each and every single one of them, they open the bag and tip it over. They open up the bag, they tip it over. As they do that, for the bag of holding, oh great! They open it up, tip it over. <laughs> <laughs> Every single item that's inside of the bag of holding spills out. 
all the coins and everything. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> all the gold. What do you have to be specifically looking for all that stuff? Not if you tip up. Uh, that's how they oh. figured out it was a bag of holding to begin with. It's because Ryder <laughs> opened it and was just like, "What the fuck is this?" And he flipped it over, and I was just like, "So you turn it upside down?" He goes, "Yeah." All the paper from it fell out before. Oh, okay. Same exact thing's happening here, except now it's a shit ton of Waterdeep's coins. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so as um, the thousands of gold spill out, your the, the number of crossbows, uh, a potion of healing? No, I'm out. You're out of potions of healing? Have... Let me just read your thing. Yeah. Let me just read your bag of holding page here. You got uh, two crossbows. Uh, is that five or nine vials of black ooze? Five. Five. A ring of keys. An owl talisman, blue gem, a letter to the cult. Oh, they have eleven of uh, uh, black flasks. Flask. Yeah, black oh, yeah. flasks. No. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Uh, the decanter, the the horseshoe, um, a number of pairs I, of boots, daggers, I, a cooking kit. I erased. I I was going to erase the armor. I didn't erase the that full yet. suit of uh, yeah. advancing yeah. armor yeah. or advancing armor. Yeah. I thought it was just a chest it piece. was just a chest piece. So. Putting the chest piece down, and all of the money just spills onto the ground. <laughs> Says you were a prisoner! Yes. What the fuck is all this? That was part of the, our belongings. We found our belongings when we found got out. Then why do you have this amount of our currency? How long have you stayed in Waterdeep? Felix pitches in, well, I've been here for the better part of a year. All right, and who are you? Felix Lysander. I was a researcher for uh, working with the uh, Church of Bahamut. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to ask the archive. I've been there. They'll know me. And at that point, uh, one of the men just looks over. Go go ask the archive. Bring someone. Bring a higher up. And the uh, younger lad just goes, yes, sir. And he runs off. Lackey? Lackey? <laughs> <laughs> but female. Ooh. For now... Think we're gonna start with you. In that moment, he opens up the door and points to you, Ryder. You're coming out first. I walk out. Okay. Slams door, locks it closed. Take a seat. I'm already sitting. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I sit down. I don't need your smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you've been prisoner. Yes. By Turniston Frost. Yeah. Uh, how long until they question Jacqueline? I mean, cool. I can make it long. Why? Uh, I can make uh, it long. I was gonna go upstairs and go to the bathroom, so I didn't uh, make yeah. all the fucking noise. Yeah, go to the bathroom. Okay. You're a prisoner by Turniston Frost. Yes. For how long? A few days. I lost track of time. Make it a second. 17. Okay. And how did he take you prisoner? We were coming to town, and then our caravan got attacked, and we woke up in the prison. Didn't know how long we were knocked out for, because we remember waking up, and our group was in there. The, uh, the One of the other guys comes back with like a big box, sets it down. He opens up the top of it, pulls out a few papers. After a few, basically, minutes of reading, he goes through, puts some, some, some to the side. It says, Turston Frost returned with the small carriage that he uses for business. He returned a few days ago, and we searched inside the carriage, and there was nothing there. Where were you? I wouldn't know. I was unconscious after our caravan got attacked. If all of you were there, then you'd have to be somewhere. Well, if you only I... only came with him and another cart of barrels. And we investigated the barrels. If I could I'll say something, how did you guys come to this... I'm sorry to ask this. How did you guys know there was something going on with the house? When the house started to turn to shit, we could tell that something was going wrong. It's not very hard to see a very luxurious home withering to nothing in the span of an hour. 
People so, started to see it. Some got came and grabbed the guard. So you're saying some sort of like illusionary magic happened. Look, I'm not one to know much about magic. Well, but I know that five individuals were sitting outside of a shed the moment that you turned the corner and we saw you after the house only an hour before turned to shit. Well, that's what happened. I'm pretty sure they probably used some sort of magic. I'm not too fluid in magic as well, but maybe they hit us. I wouldn't know. I'm not them. Make a persuasion check. With advantage. Is my persuasion? Same as your deception. Uh, no, a little bit. Well, oh. not, not as good, but still oh, good. Yeah, you're, not, you're not expert. 22. Okay. He looks at it, sets down the paper, puts it on top of the box, pushes it under. All right. We're going to talk to someone else then, see if anything else matches. Brings you back to the cage. You're trying to hide this book. You're coming out next. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. What the fuck? He sets, he sets the book down on top of the table, and he looks at you. What does this book say? It's a porno magazine. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> look, um, you need to understand, this is serious. Um, this book is a diary of some sort. A uh, whose diary? Um, Turnus den Frost. It I belonged to that him. name. I, I, I was, good job. Um, <laughs> He's I almost, a fake die. I almost called him Karn, but I was like, they only know him as Turnus den so. You get a fate die for those. Nah, a, a four? Yeah, D4. that's what they are. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Anyways. Um, then translate it. Okay. And um, he sets another small book down next I'll, to it and looks to be blank pages. I'll let you choose what page. I want all of it. This is a pretty big book, dude. Come on. Like, <laughs> and this is a pretty big blank book. All copy right. it over. Okay, all right. So, copy it over. Um... So, do you uh, copy it over? Yeah, I copy okay. it over. Then everyone can see this page, this yep. book now. Yep. I mean, we're not there. Well, I know, but I'm saying... Why are we trying to keep this hidden? Well, it's, um... We definitely need that for evidence. Um, it's kind of about the, uh, real life of, uh, this man you know Turnus and Frost as. <clears throat> You see him after he flips to a few pages. He leans forwards. So you came to while you were inside the prison there. Mm -hmm. And you were in prison there for a few days. Mm -hmm. What kind of rituals were being taken there? Rituals? Says, I'm just glad they simplified it so that it works for the rituals more. What does that mean? Well, when we escaped, we ran into uh, some scary-looking little things. I don't know how to explain them. Uh, um, they attacked us, so we had to fight back, and um, that's... These things were pretty, like, feral or, you know... We'll pretty, find out about those, yeah. if that's indeed truth. Yeah. Hmm. He continues to read through it. You really know, don't you, Tyler? Yeah, but yeah, dude. <laughs> I think I fucking. Like, give me your fake dice. I literally dude. typed all dude. this shit up. Some of, give me your fake dice. A little. I'll, I'll show you a line where I was like, "Yo, wait, what?" One magazines. <laughs> <laughs> say anything stupid? Yeah, oh, we did yeah. immediately. That was much. <laughs> yeah, the first thing he was like was porn magazine. It's amazing. They're they're it's investigating the book and they've had him translate it over. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> So they kidnapped you. Oh, it's not. They attacked your caravan. What's this about an inn? Um, we stopped at an inn right before Baldur's Gate, and um, he planned to take us out of the plan at that time. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. What? What plan? You plan to take us out of the planet? Plan to take us out of the planet at an inn before Baldur's Gate? It's not the right city. Or Waterdeep. <laughs> I don't remember. Wasn't even Waterdeep, it was before Dragon Oh, yeah. So. Shit. Wait, you say deception? Uh, persuasion. Persuasion. 
Schwaz. Oh shit, twelve. Twelve? Wait. No, no, my first roll was uh it's fucking eleven. Okay, so eight. Eight? Okay. Cause uh Yeah, this is uh talking about swamp travel. The only swamp that's nearby is the one that's Troll's Claw, and that's down towards Dragon Spear. What city do we start again? <laughs> you, so, you hear someone face palms through the left. What city do we start again? Uh, uh, where, where, I, where's... Can I, can you I guys make... are stuck inside of, like, a cage. You can talk through it, for sure. Oh, okay. can, I, can I make a deception? I mean, um, uh, uh, intelligence. Intelligence for... to, to remember, like, where we fucking Sure. Started. I don't remember where we started. Started? Yeah, what, uh, what town was that? What's your town? El Terrell? El Terrell, that's right. Okay, fuck. Well, fuck. Um, did I do say intelligence? You said intelligence. Okay, yeah, 12. 12? That's enough to remember. Um, the inn was definitely before Troll's Claw. <clears throat> although, it's the time has kind of passed now. <laughs> yeah. Um, you traveled from Baldur's Gate yeah. to Dragon Spear. Yeah. Had to pass through the Troll's Claw. Then from Dragon Spear to Waterdeep, you had to pass through Trade's Way. At least we can tell he's not actually trying to lie to them. <laughs> well, his memory isn't that great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'll tell them like. So I've been drinking on this whole thing. So you, if you want more information, you might have to ask somebody else. I will. <clears throat> Thank you for the book. Seems to be more useful than you might understand. I'll start with you now, ma'am. He directs Gopher inside. Looks at looks at you go in. Yep, so he basically comes in, unlocks the door, pushes Gopher in, drags you out, closes the door and locks it. Sit down. I'm not going to say that I sit down because I just fall. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know. I'm just <laughs> I was like, you sound like you're waving. <laughs> that was, that's dramatic pause. <laughs> Let's sink in that you're now <laughs> fucked. <laughs> My guards told me that you chose to come willingly. You just walked out and then admitted to basically being with the rest of the group. Absolutely. Because that is the truth. I am with them. Oh, that's a very honorable choice. Some people, if they were doing shifty business, would try to leave the rest behind if they have already been caught. However, we do now realize, and he looks over to the massive pile of gold. <laughs> Maybe you weren't the one holding on to the money. <laughs> <laughs> Riders go. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened during the swamp travel? I would rather not remember. It was horrible. It says during the swamp travel, we needed to keep them from finding the produce, so we let them become suspicious of us. But damn idiot blew the cover anyways. Who is this talking about? Damn idiot. Could be talking oh. with anybody, <laughs> honestly. They're all. We, we all hear this, right? Oh they're, yeah. They're, they're, they're Jack, all idiots. Jacqueline, I believe they were talking about the the one who was drinking with us that one point and said too much when they drank too much. Are you talking about the little bard man? Uh, I don't remember who he was. He, he was barely. Make an intelligence check to remember. <laughs> and natural. All right, six. <laughs> It, it's come up as a blank. You just can't remember the specifics. So you have to go off your own memory. It was a smelly, horrible time. I, it's all fuzzy to me. You know, the swamp travel. Mm. Honestly. This is a diary for Turniston Froust. Absolutely. We found it somewhere. Hmm. You're affiliated with a group known as the Sparks. We, if we're prisoners, we're not affiliated with the Sparks. We are the opposite. <laughs> hmm. We are actually looking for them and trying to stop what is happening around here because... Make yeah. a persuasion check with advantage and a plus five modifier to your RE persuasion. Oh! Nice. There's a very specific line in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay, well, I mean, with that's, advantage, uh, oh, that's yeah, already over 20. 
I mean, just roll again, just because. Nat, see, not 20. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, uh, it, it, it was 20. It was 20? Uh, 20, uh, you said persuasion? Persuasion. Oh, uh, 26. 26. <laughs> God damn. Close as the book. <coughs> Read the last line down there on the last page. Last page. I don't know if things can't. No, no, that we. This is a translated book. Yeah, he translated, he translated it over. I wrote it all the up. Last the last page. line? The last page. Last page. Last page. Last page. Last line. The sparks were made to help bring a new era of society to into fruition. In order to keep that in place, I must live. Then why? Yeah. Why are they destroying buildings then and killing political figures? Did you read that out loud? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you read that all again, please? Um, at that moment, you, you can see before that as as yeah. um, you're only going to read the last line. Yeah. Um, as she was reading that, the the older guard was staring at Jacqueline, like eyes focused on you. And after you were kind of questioning why they were doing this, he stands up, open the gate. Needs a lot of fun. Wait, we... Huh? If this is truly a diary of Turnus and Froust, which it is, he's clearly a member of the Sparks. And a prisoner of the Sparks, as you say, <laughs> wouldn't be an enemy of ours. They're allied with the damn cult. They're allied with the damn orcs. <sighs> I'm so happy you right. know that. <laughs> well, <laughs> Wait. I think it's time to say everything then. Can I get a beer? Before, before we leave, uh, you said they're associated with the cults and the orcs. They are, yeah. I mean, as far as I can tell, unless the orcs are just by circumstance, we've been attacked by them, kobolds, the cult, and the sparks. Mm. So we're at dwindling numbers. That's why we don't have much armor or swords to even go around. Some people have to fight just by throwing objects that they have around. I come up and I say, Can I testify once more? I just want to explain everything more. Um, yeah, go ahead. When they start attack, did all of them attack all at once? No. Random days. Sometimes they stay off for weeks. But generally that's followed with explosions and then more attacks. Sounds like what they... Do everywhere, honestly, from what we heard. Where else is this happening? Um, from what we believe, Dragon Spear, if I'm correct. Yeah. Was it an L? No, it wasn't. No, that's the city's protected. I You're talking about Greenus? I wouldn't. I wouldn't well, Greenus, uh, that, that's just the cult in general, but yeah, we could say that this box too. Greenus, if you heard of that town. I have a feeling that they're also looking for a way to get into L2. We just got back from there, and we were, I guess you could say we're hired on from. Uh, Ontha, was it? No. No. Just... just well, or, or did the gauntlet, yeah. we can say. Just say that. Hmm. Funny if they're sending someone now to help us when we're already fucked. Fine. So again... I don't know this greenest, but I know of El Terrell. Let me explain everything that happened with us when we left. Left El Terrell or left Dragon Spirit? Uh, <coughs> say El Terrell. No Except for the heist. <laughs> <laughs> Anything ba- okay, so I just say, um, they told us to go be part of the caravan, and we found out, well, the guy, uh, what's his name? <laughs> that they thought? Turnus and Frost? Yeah, Turnus and Frost was actually named Karn. And, um, he was with us the whole time, and then later attacked us, and then we pursued him here, and then we saw him at that house and we pursued him and I hate to inform you but we have killed him he leans his head back alright and all that gold I actually found that there they had this weird enhan- enchantment magic on the whole house which we believe was from a hag we encountered before is that a hag? yes there was summoning rituals. One of our guards that was investigating the disappearances was with, um, he said, the group of three. Felix was a part of it. And in that moment, um, 
Felix stands up. Yeah. Right, I said it before. My name's Felix Lysander. You're the Felix. There was something about uh, hag like magic, the sigils, and the walls. Teleportation. Yeah. Teleportation, yeah. I believe Gopher said it, those creatures we fought. They were, we believe they were actually the kidnapped people that have been going around around here, the missing people. And one more who, during the caravan trip, actually traveled with uh, Turnus and Faust as well. Mm. Khan, too. I guess there's a many uh, bad as, as we knew him at that point, yeah. and as she. We don't know his true name, honestly. This point, I don't even think Turnus and Faust is his fucking name. Regardless, he's dead. We'll have to investigate the house. And <laughs> more evidence on potentially where they might have gone or what they've done if the individuals that are disappeared are there that we'll have to inform the families. I know it's not much, but I'm pretty sure all of that water deep gold belong to the people here, so it's all your those are all yours. Felix Richardson. Yeah, I was actually gonna talk to you about that. I think we should have left the gold with them. Yeah, I know. But the platinum. <laughs> <laughs> the platinum's not. It was it was just the five thousand gold pieces. Oh, that the were, water was water deep. Okay, okay. Symbol. Because yeah. each city kind of has Own like a, unique a one. press for it, so that way you can kind of tell where the funds are. Okay. When it, I just say general, it's because it's literally general. It's just of random what? cities and all so, the sort. Another thing. So my empty book is now just a translated diary. Uh, no, they put up their own. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I have empty book again. All right, well, that is very kind of you. And thank you for returning this. With this, we'll be able to fund more defense. We can actually get well-suited with armor. Well, we do what we can when, we, when we're around. And sorry for deceiving you, but we're uh, in, under investigation with this box, so... You couldn't, and we didn't, I didn't want to say in front of all the crowd of people out there. Didn't want to worry the citizens. Mm. So that's why you lied. Alright. <clears throat> why did you try to keep the book hidden? He's an, I, he's an idiot. I needed it for real evidence. No, that, I um, had to make sure you guys weren't actually like, just getting rid of the book. Fair enough. We can, and now we know we can. <laughs> <laughs> kind of gathered that, but you mean well. We needed the book big time. <laughs> but we all... Exhausted. If you don't mind, we would like to go rest. I mean, I feel fine. <laughs> Shut the. F you have no spell you've, slots. You've also been That's awake right. for like closer to twenty hours now, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. well into night. Yeah. So you guys took a short rest. It's like night. Twice. Twice. <laughs> twice. Twice there. It is we well did. into like over midnight. We yeah. did. Um. That's fine. <laughs> just, just imagine like she goes like I feel fine. Falls face first into the. What's this black substance? This is something the cults are using. We don't know what it does, but it turns you to a. Do, do I know what it does? Didn't we? Didn't I find out with um, Vaughn? Um, you recall the way that Quinn had explained it to you was that it was more or less kind of like a. Um, I, I was just, I was just asking if I. Knew. Yeah, you you remember it? No, okay. Yeah, you would know. Basically, what said substance does is if it is a dragon-like individual it increases their <coughs> prowess basically. If it isn't it destroys them and turns them into a dragon-like creature. How long do you know about this? Um I've never had to tell since El Terrell, never had to say anything You said I mean. No one has asked Go You would it. die, <laughs> basically Ignore him please I want to be a dragon-like thing I don't think if you want to be like the disappearing people, I don't think and you want that. And one more thing. No, you do not. Because if you are not a dragon, we'll I think kill actually, you. if you are, <laughs> it turns you hostile to everything around you yes. as well. It, you become feral. Aren't I already? No. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but you may have one if you want to investigate it, but be careful with it. Well keep those at the archive prepared and protected Felix I would like at least three I would like to keep one too just you can keep we only take the one okay, okay thank if you. you're on if you're investigating the sparks then this is clearly on part of your investigation 
we'll just take the one and we can spread out the work. One file will give us plenty enough time. All right, to I'm just going to take off of, take off one from my six. Yeah. I have five. Okay, you have the most out of all of us, yeah. Yeah, both of you two have five now. Okay, so I just grab all my stuff, yep. I guess? Basically, everyone's able to get their own things. <sighs> Nothing else seems... Missing, damaged. I go to. He gets all his gold. Cool. No, I'm only thinking. Well, he only took out the. Uh, they took out the five thousand. That's gold. it. Okay. <laughs> and the other two guards, after accepting the five thousand gold, very quickly and meticulously picked out the gold that was of Waterdeep. So deduct five thousand from that total. Okay. Yeah. So you gained thirteen hundred. I know. I have it separate. Okay. Yeah, he separated. Them. Okay. I I go up to Asparagus and whisper. Do you want to tell him anything? Maybe. Asparagus, do you want to? Okay. <laughs> nope. Well, okay. Where's the closest inn? I mean, there's plenty of inns nearby. Find one. Uh, well, yeah. no, there's one down towards the street, I suppose. All right, we'll go there. Mm. Everyone, let's go. I'm going to the orphanage. You're going to the orphanage? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to investigate more tomorrow. I want to rest 20 hours of staying awake. So everyone goes and sleeps. Um, for the inn, you can split basically. Three rooms, one or two rooms. Yeah, basically the one goal. I'll give them one the of the goals thing. I have. The one goal will pay for the whole night of sleep, and everyone is able to get a nice. Okay, hang on. Uh, I'm sharing a room with uh, Asparagus alone. I'll just point that out. Okay. <clears throat> Gopher will take a, his. Uh, do you want a room by yourself, or because otherwise Felix will go with. Um... He has his own house. Oh yeah, Felix will go yeah, home. He has his own house, dude. Yeah, Felix I'll will just go home. I'll take a room. I'm not paying. Peace out. <laughs> That's pretty much what he's saying. Uh, so you take, basically, uh, Jacqueline and Gopher, just do you two in a room? Yeah. Unless you want in your own room, but. Yeah. Okay. So, I would like everyone, except for Gopher, to leave the room. Oh, everyone but Gopher. <laughs> but Gopher. <laughs> you two scares. <laughs> Yeah, is it cares? Don't leave me here. Take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> Come to me, Sakaris. Take him with. Dude, do I actually have to? Yes. Well, we could have just muted him. No, yeah, we're taking him with us. Yeah. All right, you can go hang out now uh, upstairs in Jake's house. <laughs> yeah. Get the grand Sure, I right. yeah. guess. Here. No. Enjoy the tour. <laughs> Enjoy the tour. Hey, you're just going to get the tour. I'm not getting a tour. Um, well, someone just called you quick, but she hung up right away, so. Oh, all right. So as you're sleeping, mm -hmm. you're feeling tense, feeling bottled up. And that panic starts to set in of having the dreams again. Okay. But in that moment, you hear a voice. Ooh. Do I, do I recognize the voice? This is the voice that you have not heard, and it sounds very distant, but yet okay. very powerful. Okay. You are one who's trapped like a bird in a cage. Oh, no. Okay. You feel burdened by actions given to you. that you did not want to be a part of deep down yet you're forced an entity has a grasp over you is this something correct to you I can answer in any way I want yeah you can say it. you can talk mm, okay okay first I'll ask this who are you have many names, but I've been called primarily Wildheart. I can set creatures free of their burdens for, for but a time, give them a release of the tension building inside of them. Okay. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to think of how to go for the reaction this time. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Mm. 
you are right, but I won't be swayed by what I think is right. You don't want to have to. What do you mean by that? I only am here to bring you aid. Your actions are your own. They, the goal set for you by others and this entity that has a hold of you. An entity over me? That essence of you will be returned. Returned to where? To yourself. Oh shit. And in that moment... <clears throat> your eyes kind of like flutter and mm. you can see that you're standing at what looks to be a very lavish and calming gazebo type of location. Out in all directions okay. are patches of beautiful greenery. Mm. There's trees that smell elegant and flowers that are blooming of vibrant colors and the sky is just crystal clear blue. It is a perfect 72 degrees, a slight breeze that just nips in, and the sun is just ever so slightly perfect. And it's just like my hometown. In that moment, there's also, in the far distance, you can see your hometown of Baston. <clears throat> and that sea air begins to wash in, and that nice, calm demeanor. In that moment, a small blade with blue lightning inside of a sheet of white glass emerges. You will be returned to a place of peace. Back to your question. Um, thinking back on your question, I answered. I basically declined. What kind of power do you possess? I am a harbinger of freedom. I despise when someone is held back from what they are, held back by the boundaries set before them. All I ever want is utter peace for someone. That is why I met that man, Karn. That man, Karn. What did you do to him? I did nothing. I allowed him to feel free. But he abused it. He abused me. He became deranged, talking of a woman from his past that was controlling his actions. I don't know of who that was, but he too had an entity that was bound, holding him down. Okay. I will accept your aid. I'm glad. As I said, I'm only here to release the tension, to release the boundaries that are holding one back. Something that everyone should be ex able to experience, but grow jealous of if they know someone has what they don't. Oh, man. I'll accept your power right now. Um, what I do fear is myself being, becoming like Karn. You are much stronger willed, I think. Karn was a man who became selfish, became belligerent, greedful, wanted to shower in presence. If you don't become like that, then I don't think you will become like Karn. I believe so too. Then I am, I am willing to lend you my power to release the tension 
that is holding you back. I'll humbly accept. Alright. I will say, what I said was true. Creatures grow deceitful, vengeful, jealous, envious of something someone does not have. Something that someone has that they do not. Okay. It would be well to keep this deal a secret. If an entity finds that I am what is allowing you to become like this, then I am easily stolen. I am defenseless, but I will be your sword. I agree to that. I'm glad. And now, you feel attuned to the longsword Wildheart. Okay, yeah, I was literally gonna ask you the name of this sword. Wild Heart. <laughs> Go. Alright. So, you can read that to them, because that has nothing to do with what was said here. Okay. I'm gonna go grab them. I was gonna ask, like, so, he's not he's not a DD, he's a heartbreaker. Heartbreaker, heartbreaker yep. Um, would I be able to talk to him, like, mm-hmm. like how they would? Basically, if you ever want to talk to him, mm-hmm. send me a text. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I definitely don't want to just say it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, alright. Because... Yeah, you, that the last note you can't let anybody know. Yeah. Okay. You guys are good. You can come back. So they asked, should I just say like I was talking to the sword? They don't know anything. Yeah, that's true. You don't know to say anything. Yeah, okay. We, we can just say you had a dream. All right. Oh, we're fine. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Magic. You get my text? Uh, no, I was busy. We're good. We might have to do another thing. Why? Like why? Uh, I sent you the text. Oh. Oh. You and... Okay. You and Mason want to have a talk? So we're going to do one more thing. (laughs) What? But this time it's me and Mason. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking hell. Alright. Bring bring your card up. It won't be as long though. I'm going to read this. It'll be pretty quick. Alright, this is between you two, I suppose. Yep. That's why I said alone. I see. We were just going to kind of text each other, but we're like, ah, we should just talk. (laughs) Probably easier. And then this way it's also on microphone. Yeah. Okay. So, Zakaris and Ryder, you make it inside your inn, close the door, close the curtains. Do you hear the voice, uh, Asparagus? Yeah. I'm assuming you did as well. I did. <sighs> mm. So what do you what do you need to do exactly? I need to do what we've been doing, I guess. I assume... It's kind of the same with me. Who do you think this is? Oh, that's true. We are not for sure knowing it's her. Mm-hmm. Since that one incident. Was the spirit part? He was involved in that when we saw the fake one, right? The fake? Yeah, he was. Oh, he was? It could be the... The one that s- said that there was a traitor amongst you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was there. Okay. That was when he was swimming through Earth. Oh yeah, that's when he was still a warlock. Yep. <laughs> long time ago. Yeah, long, I mean, those days are gone. But, um... Yeah, I guess we just have to keep doing what we're doing, but... What is your plan? I don't know. I'd rather not follow what she wants. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah. I was almost thinking the same thing. Who knows where it could lead, especially with all the... Everything that's been going around, pretty much. Who knows if you could trust this power? Zakaris. I definitely don't. Zakaris. Give me your hand. Do you trust me? Zakaris. Hmm? As you are talking with Ryder about this topic, that voice that you both are talking about rings in your ears. Only yours. You can you can hear okay. this. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> you are meant to guide, not like this. Go against my judgment, and I will revoke. You okay, is it Terrace? Uh, it, uh, no. <laughs> Did 
she talk to you again? Is that what happened? Or we have to talk to everybody. Should we come clean with everything? Yeah, I suppose. Fuck, I'm gonna give you the speech right now. Uh oh. Do you trust me? We've been through a lot together. I can say that. And I knew from day one I can trust you. And I had a feeling that we were part of the same thing. The bigger problem. So was everybody else. Yes. But they don't know like we do. No. But. I take his hand. I trust you. I grab his hand. What's his word? What? Ecstasy. Or, yeah. Right. Oh! Oh! God! I, hang on. Is it written in here? Did you even have that written in here? I didn't put it down in your notes. I don't think... So... Yep, it's ecstasy. Okay. He says ecstasy and I... <laughs> it triggers in you. And you definitely know that that is your gift. Oh. So the thing I've been doing. Yeah. yeah. You, like, it's difficult, different because now somebody else knows of that word. Okay. Wait, how did you do that? What is this? I can learn others' words with my own. What are words? <laughs> exactly. Some kind of boon or curse placed upon us at Earth, as far as I know. By her. I see. Huh. So basically just knows what my goal was? That was it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you know. Yes. He's known from the beginning. Oh, yeah, I told him in the beginning, too. Oh, he knew the moment he touched your hand. Oh. Like, the first time we mm -hmm. ever met? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's why you weren't so surprised when I told you. <laughs> oh. I've known since the first time we've, we shook hands or anything. Hmm. So that, okay, so, okay. Look, so our next, our next goal, I suppose, is to head south with Jacqueline. Yeah, yeah I, that's what I was thinking. But, are we for real? We're going to go tell everyone about this now. Yes. Good. I think it'd also be in our best interest to head to the travel camp if it's not too far out of our way. <sighs> that is You'd a, be passing over it. That is a far walk, but, well, travel, but we will. We will. Yeah, you basically be pass, pa passing over it to go to Zakara. Okay. All right. We'll tell him, you can tell him tomorrow, when we dine or something. Hope, well, not in public, because that might raise suspicions, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay. Alright, good night, Asparagus. Good night, my friend. Okay, go around. Woo! <laughs> That'll probably be the last one that we have to have everyone leave the room for. Yeah, yeah. that's it for sure. <laughs> yeah. Me. Jacqueline. So I will leave. <laughs> and then there's uh, fucking there's Calvin with a plate of ketchup. So, yeah. so nice ketchup. Mm, okay. Thanks, man. Just so off. we get a night's rest. Yep. So everyone enjoys your night of sleep. Yes. Oh yeah. You get your long rest in. The cops didn't attack us at No, you did not get attacked. <laughs> and by the guards who only ruse us to believe us. Yeah. Um. So Gopher, you have the normal book, the one that's not translated. Yep. Jacqueline, you have the translated book as well. So oh. if you ever wanted to read through that, you're by all means able to. Wait, was it her or is it? Like, oh yeah, it was her. Yeah. Yeah, it was her. Okay. Um, <clears throat> After a solid, let's say nine hours, you probably wanted to sleep in some after the yeah. night of what had just gone through. You got plenty of sleep. It's now morning. 
probably a little bit more closer to noon than you would have hoped. You might have slept in a little bit longer, especially considering the fact of all the stress and the late time that you went to sleep to begin with. The stress being getting arrested. <laughs> you wake up in your respective different places. Um, everyone is currently at the same end except for Rex. I Rex, at... did you want did you want to go back to where they were? Because they would have given you information on where the inn was at the time. Yes. I mean, we all heard it from the police station, though, I guess, at that one. Yeah, the that's barracks. true. So you're making your way there. I nod at Asparagus. I nod at you. Okay. I, I leave the room. I don't I... nod at anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go out the room and I check. I mean, there's people. It's morning, it's an inn, there's tavern, bar. Uh, Asparagus, I'm not sure if you know, but I'm starving all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, I haven't eaten anything except that rancid corn. So. <laughs> yeah, I, that was that was a mo that was a bowel movement of all bowel movements <laughs> that night. Both we're, of you go we're for it. We're lucky that unicorn showed up. Say that again. Both of you go for it. Oh. <laughs> it's curious. All right, I <clears throat> go down. I grab food for everyone. Do I have to pay? Or how'd, how'd you go down? You weren't being attacked. I'm going downstairs. Um. Yeah, you can go downstairs and grab food. Do I have to pay gold, do you think, again? Uh, yes. Just pay... Yeah, just mark one gold. Okay. Then I'll give you plenty of food. I, I'm paying for uh, six people. Yeah. If 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 uh, Felix ever shows up, sure. Yeah. All right. Felix will show up pretty much around the same time that Rex does. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, welcome, guys. I already got us food. Come sit down. Yeah. Both Rex and Felix are there. I mean, are you guys coming out of your rooms? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So, okay. So, Time to eat. After, <laughs> after making just a small prayer thing <laughs> For okay, you can feel um, as you like pray, focus on moon shadow. You can feel that glow, that eclipsing glow from moon shadow, return to you, and you feel that energy Whoa. forcing through you again. And you send your thanks and prayers, and they are received. And you feel this presence of like a creature that's glad or joyful. So I said, I'm, I'm eating. Guys. You guys sitting in public? Yeah. Okay. Guys. <laughs> yeah. We need to talk later. And private. Uh, okay. Yeah. Felix looks at Rex. Why? Why? <laughs> well, you're part of our group, so I guess you're in on this too. <laughs> uh, Sorry, buddy. He's not wrong. Man, Felix is going to be pissed when he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> he would have some words to say, but man, is he going to yeah. be silent during this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Be afraid. Be very, be very afraid. afraid. So why are you looking at him? I had to blow my nose. Fucking hell, because you walked in with him, and then they're like, come sit down. We need to talk later. <laughs> so, time pass. I'm guessing we finish eating. Uh, I mean, are you guys doing anything while you guys are eating? No, I'm going to the shop. You're yes. going to leave and go to the shop? To pick up my stuff. You're not going to... I think you should have this talk first. This is very important. Yes. Important. Gopher's also drinking. Gopher, hold on to drinking for now. <sighs> Just right. for like an hour. All right. It won't take too long, I hope. So finish Only eating. Like an hour. You stop being gopher from drinking for an hour. <laughs> let's, let's go to our room quick. Oh, okay. Okay. We take him to our room and then we do what we did last night. Just... Wait, what? <laughs> what you did last night? You okay? I got my pants. Uh, <laughs> so what happens is, as everyone's brought into this room, Rex, did you, you went in with them or did you say you were going to go to the shop? I, I will go with them. Okay. Everyone gets inside. Yeah, it's, a, just goes home. it's a fairly nicer room. It's big enough to probably accommodate for the most of you. Rather uncomfortably, but not like cramped. Um, and you guys close the door, lock everything, shut the curtains, and uh, it's kind of dimmer in here now. Okay. Hmm. Where to start? I, I guess the best way to start. I apologize. You apologize I give for, him a for we might have been still lying to you guys about everything. About our involvement. Well, not what? everything. Not everything. <laughs> we told you we were part of the cult back in the day, but more lies. That's all I can say. 
But here we decided to finally come clean. Okay. Felix pitches in. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm missing some context here. This go on, let's follow along with the story, and then we'll answer your questions at the end. Yeah, read the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, read this for a while. I, uh, I, I still have to type it up. But, okay. Know, it basically he'll, read a, the, he'll read some... About a super heroic guy, about okay. like making me look super good, but okay. with the details. You better, be, okay. you better be actually finishing that book, though. You do. I, I will. I will. <laughs> anyway. Now that you have a better computer. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, continue. so. I'll tell, I'll tell you about me first. Mm-hmm. I was still part of the cult, even after all I went through. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't really with the cult. I was working under Tiamat herself. And uh, she told me once I can get my re- my revenges and and uh, complete a certain goal, I will attain her blessing and her full power. And once then, I was told to annihilate the group. Oh, ooh. what? <laughs> so. Yes. I'm coming clean and saying I'm done with that. And I'll tell you my uh, my certain goal was what you guys know me best for. Getting with the ladies. Oh Oh. my. (laughs) And which is why I (sighs) suspected why Asparagus made me a magic item for Mm. my uh, for my certain area. But we'll go into detail for that later. But oh me, me and Justin Sperry just had a talk about it last night. We decided to both come clean. So, yes. Asparagus? Yeah, last night, after we killed Karn. What the fuck? Um, we were both approached by uh, a mysterious voice that we believed to be Tiana. What the fuck? <laughs> these, are, these are real reactions. <laughs> by Gopher. Yes. I mean, I guess it's the first time you knew we were kind of involved with the cult in the way, Gopher. Mm-hmm. I go wild more. He, he's missing context as well. That's true. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's what I say. I'm joking. All right, so go on, Asparagus. Much like Ryder, um, I was told by Tiamat long ago that I can have my vengeance if I help with a small favor. My favor was to help you lot, all of you. Help us. Yes. So we're basically up to this point following your guys. You guys are a bunch of me-seeks, dude. Well, I was just doing my own thing. <laughs> you brought me into this. No, but he brought I hold out my hand. <laughs> you what? I hold out my hand. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I hold out my hand and grab his hand. That's good. I shake his hand off my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing a thing. Um. If you still trust me, grab my hand. I I go forward and grasp his hand tightly with both of mine. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I grab his hand. Gopher grabs his hand. Felix abstains, not knowing what's going on. That's fine, we understand. <clears throat> Probably even Randall would have been confused if he was here. Yeah, a little bit. So wait, even Randall didn't know about this. He he was only part of the group. That, he found out we worked with the cult, but that was really all he knew. Can't move this. Yeah, you move that now. Rex? I pull my hand out as well. Well, I'm sorry, but if you trust him, then you automatically have to trust me too. <laughs> but I also, I also swore my oath with asparagus. So, what are everybody's words, Mr. Papadia? I'm gonna kill you. No, I'm just kidding. Um. Not you, Felix. Oh, GM. <laughs> what you feel, Zacharis, is as this is now all been coming out. Let me get to my text again. You feel the word of life 
from Jacqueline and the word of information from Rex. Just those two? Just those two. Go for it. <laughs> oh, hey, you, you smell some alcohol. Off a go for him. Oh. The word of knowledge. From Gopher? No, no from, you. from you. From you. Oh, knowledge? It's knowledge. Just, just word of information, word of. Oh, knowledge. that's what you meant. Right. Well? Well, these two, and I point at Jacqueline and Rex, are marked like we are. No. Uh, Mr. Gopher is not. I'm, I'm still lost here. So, what is your guys' problem? Well, I turn to Jacqueline. She has a word of life. I, I didn't want to mess with it too much. And Rex has the word of information or knowledge. <laughs> my hobby? So, uh, my hobby? <laughs> Getting is, it, is there more of a blessing than a curse, unlike ours, then? The no, way. I suspect they're similar. They're still similar. I suspect both of you were promised some great power or great boon in exchange for a servant. Would, would Jacqueline know this? Oh yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or would she only, know. or would she only know like what she's supposed to do? You, you would know that you were promised power to reinstate <clears throat> to your me. family's mm. power as well as becoming one like a god mm. in in the cost of protection protecting other life and later on you are told and promised that that protection would then be carried on from you giving to others onto yourself basically the protection that you had given to others would be pulled in the future and given to you Hmm. So she tells us that, right? <laughs> I mean, that's up to her. You tell us that. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, sounds way better than mine, at least. <clears throat> that's all I can say. Yeah, I feel jealous now as well. Right. All right. How about you, Rex? What's the deal with you? <laughs> I'm just thinking this Felix is all like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Felix is sitting in the corner. Trying. To progress all this information right now <laughs> so man i guess i guess we, huh? should we just tell him what, what asparagus did asparagus are you okay we could tell him what you did what do you mean what did i do i mean <laughs> basically what you just read what they are what they can do oh, okay i just said it I, yes i also have a word that should be fairly clear by now i have the word of uh direction uh, Yes. The word is direction. <laughs> oh, nice uh, word ecstasy, though. Uh, Yours is ecstasy. This okay. is direction. Jacqueline's is life. Ecstasy. 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 That's that word. Basically, the drug, the sex drug. Yeah. I was supposed to help others with words complete their tasks, and I would be granted a boon as well. Is that why you didn't want to see me? Want me to see your information stuff on the back half? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, off game off game stuff. I kept a tally of every single person I fucked and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I had to keep track. Oh I was up I was up to five. What the I I didn't do such a thing with mine of how many people I healed well, but nobody, I became a paladin. Nobody knows what Rex was doing still. Yeah. Yeah. I don't so, think he does. Well Rex does, but does Calvin? <laughs> it does Calvin remember? So, if we had to take a guess, information, you just have to get specific information. If you get the right one, you get power. No. It's information that seems relevant. To, to <clears throat> anything. And you just get power for each one? Or. No. Do you get the ability to. Well, you promised the ability to protect those you love. You hold no dear like you weren't able to do before. K 
Can you repeat that? <laughs> you, that was really quiet. So I was like trying to process that real yeah, hard right now. It was quiet because it was trying Sorry. to be a moment. <laughs> There's never gonna be a moment in this group. I'll tell you that since, now. And since I'm going to repeat it, I'm just going. I'm not gonna say it in Jacqueline's voice. This is for Kelvin. <laughs> um, what she said was, "Were you promised the ability to protect those you hold most dear, like you weren't able to do before?" Yes. I was granted the power, so I can protect the ones that I love. So we all promise power pretty much <coughs> in a way. You guys are weird. Power for a task that was set by her. You guys are weird. It says the drunkard. Yeah, it says the drunkard. <laughs> <laughs> well now look, I don't care if you think this is a good idea or not, but these words are bad. Bad by definition. Yes. So, me and, me and Asparagus said we're going to stop following this path. We have to. Well, we justice don't. and truth and protection isn't really something that I give up very easily. That'd be hard for you. But don't you want the power? The power! That's not what I'm here for. <laughs> That's what most of us were here for, are here for, is power, but... Everything that happened thus far, I believe, is time to make a stand. No. There is... I, I'm not <coughs> asking you to follow. This is obviously insane. But there is a way that I have found, with the help of Gildella, to permanently remove these words. All right. Uh, we must head back to the tribe. Uh, I'll tell you here because it is a hell of a decision and we have no means to do it at the moment. But the only way that we have found that works is to be killed. Huh. I did not know that. Andy <laughs> had a word back when he was alive before and after he was resurrected he no longer had one. Oh. So you're saying we should go back to the tribe and die be reborn. and be, be reborn. Correct. So other None of us have that kind of power. Don't you? So why a... back to the tribe? How you know for sure they have that kind of power? Because we've seen it. You've seen it, but that tomb was gone after it was cast. You would recall that the one that did it was the Old grandmother lady. woman. And she's dead. And she withered away at the <clears> time. <throat> and, and the tome, though still existing, was a very strong artifact that was left at the tribe's uh, basic item, essentially. Oh, and, okay, I have a, a little back. I mean, you have it, kind of. <laughs> you, you are pretty much right, because they don't have the power to use it. So, what do we do now? What do we do with it then, Asparagus? You just told me we had to head towards you the tribe. The only way the Lelda needs to know. She also carries a word. The same one that I do. And she has been instrumental in getting this far with this field of What was her word? Same as his. Word of direction. <sighs> Alright. So we have a plan. <clears throat> But we also have your plan as well. Mm -hmm. So we heard. I'm well, pretty sure the tribe. The one we have right now. They're both in the general direction. You'll actually pass over Greenest and the tribe. Uh, the tribal camp by going in the direction of Zakara, unless you go specifically by sea. So if you don't mind, <coughs> we can stop there and tow. Godelda. Godelda. Yes. And see what she can do. At least inform her of yes. your decisions if you decided to make one. If not, no, no rush. This is a lot. We we still have weeks of travel, months of travel, even. Well, my my decision <laughs> remains what this has been. If it does not seem a problem to me, I will keep protecting those I find 
close. Because that is how I've been taught. And I'll keep doing what I do best. But in a So in other words, way. you're not going to go against this word of yours. <laughs> no, I'm totally going to stick by it. As in lying in like what I just did. Mm. If you're lying by fulfilling the terms of the agreement, that's not lying. All right. <laughs> so you mean... I would, t- I would tell truthful lies. Helpful lies. There are no such thing as truthful lies. So the only thing you can do is tell the truth. And, no, and tell a white lie. No more heists. For you. I know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Until we figure out the negatives tied to these, I recommend that none of us try to fulfill what is required of us. And Jacqueline, I know that is not ideal, but you don't know if there is something hidden within this that might destroy you or us. As you say <coughs> these words, Zacharis, Uh-oh. that ringing in your ear begins to get louder and louder. And it's almost as if the entire room is just shouting these words. And then everyone else can hear it as well. You are going against my judgment. Felix is just like... <laughs> yeah, Felix and Gopher are also hearing this. They're just, they're just freaking out. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, and as that ringing begins to get louder and louder, Zacharis, I need Zacharis, Rex, Jacqueline, and Ryder to make wisdom saving throws. Oh, no. Oh. We're dumb as fuck. Oh, God. Wisdom. Wait, wisdom? Wisdom, <laughs> wisdom <laughs> not intelligence. I'm still dumb. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. 14. Natural 20! Oh. 16. 16. Zacharis? 26. Okay. God damn. Everyone sees. Jacqueline, Zacharis, <coughs> your head starts to pound. There's this massive crushing sound as it feels like something is pressing on your mind, your psyche. And it's pushing further and further. You hear a dragon's screeching shout in the distance. But you both shake off that feeling. Oh, I was, I was gonna say, can, am I able oh. to like grasp moon shadow? You can, as like, just like, kind of like a protective thought. Ryder and Rex. See a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> well, take, we take second day, we take your shit ton down. I need to get my book out. Ryder, you lose the ability to speak. <laughs> Damn. Rex, all mental thought is restricted. Your personality, your prowess <laughs> is drastically reduced. Your wisdom, charisma, and intelligence scores are halved. Oh, oh no. Rex and Ryder pass out. Oh, thank God. You both fall to zero hit points and fall unconscious. Oh, You're not dying, my God. but you are unconscious. Oh. Good night. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing, nothing happens to me and Nothing happens to you and Zacharis. Okay. Oh, no. Kofi's just like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> oh, man. And that's where we're going to take our break. <laughs> so... Thank you everyone for listening to Miss World Adventures. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting this fucking shit to happen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. No. So we'll see you guys again in another Miss World Adventures. Oh, hey, God. see ya. Ooh.